Drafting a tight end in fantasy football sometimes can be a little bit tricky. You don't necessarily always want to reach for a Travis Kelsey or Mark Andrews, but you don't want to wait for a Jawan Johnson at the end of the draft and just really be stuck at the tight end position. And you only get so many chances to fill in this position, right? I mean, you only have one tight end slot in your roster, so you got to make it count. But how do we do this without drafting a round one, two, or three tight end? I have a list of my late round tight ends that I have been drafting a lot. And as of right now, I do trust for the fantasy football season. Guys, the first tight end I do want to target is Pat Fryermuth. He's being drafted at an ADP of 85 in the seventh round, which is extremely low for the value that he brings. And as of right now, he's staying under the radar, which is exactly what we like to see. And he never really had an amazing, anabolic game last season to put him over that hype train that everyone looks for. He's managed to stay consistent in a very inconsistent Steelers offense and with Kenny Pickett only improving I really really do like this position for him. Another thing to note he also has one of the easiest schedules for tight ends this year. Now I wouldn't necessarily say he's going to come out here and light up leagues but at the tight end position I'll take what I can get and a solid performer is fine with me. The second tight end I want to cover on this list and one that I really do enjoy drafting when I don't have another tight end that I draft earlier is Greg Dulcich who nobody is talking about and that really surprises me pretty much everybody has written off the Broncos offense this year which I mean is pretty understandable but this is where we gain the advantage he's being drafted in round 13 around guys like Roshan Johnson and Alec Pierce which I mean they're good prospects but for our value and what Greg Dulcich brings they're nowhere near he was a pretty solid option he finished as a top 10 tight end last year which is not bad but here are some stats that really puts into light how much value he brings he was fifth in tight end usage third in tight end distance per target and ninth in total yards per catch amongst all tight ends in the NFL and that was only his rookie year that he put up those numbers but not just that a secret stat that I probably guarantee nobody else knows is that 70% of his targets were deemed uncatchable last year. And this means 30% of his targets were not catchable at all. That's one in three targets. I'm just trying to put this into perspective to you guys. That is absolutely atrocious. And we can blame that on Russell Wilson's bad play last year. I mean, the whole offense was pretty bad. Let's be real. But I think we can all agree that the Broncos situation, Russell Wilson, I mean, the whole team can't really get worse, especially with a new head coach. There is a whole lot of upside here with with him being drafted as the tight end 15. And the third tight end I do want to cover in this video is Cole Komet. He's being drafted at an ADP of 119 at the moment. Towards the second half of the Bears season, he really turned on the Jets. He had two games over 20 fantasy points in that second half. With him being a 10th round pick, all we're really expecting is for him to keep us competitive, and I think he can do that each week. But if you're looking for more of a late round sleeper, I am really liking Jelani Woods this year. I think he does have the potential to be the safety blanket for Anthony Richardson. We've seen before that running quarterbacks really do kind of lean on the tight ends and short passes and I think he can excel for that you can get him with pretty much your last pick in fantasy football drafts and he's a 6'7 265 monster that can really be impactful in this offense it does look like he's dealing with a hamstring injury in practice as of right now but it doesn't look like it's too serious and it should be cleared up by the time the fantasy football drafts really come around but he is just super athletic and a great prospect I honestly do not hate drafting him at this low of an ADP there's not much risk here another guy that I really don't understand why not enough people are talking about him is Sam Laporta he's kind of the same situation as Dalton Kincaid. He was an early second round pick and the Lions don't have a terrible offense. He has the potential to work his way up and probably is going to start out as the number two, if not the number one this year, but he's being drafted in the 15th round. And granted, Kincaid is only being drafted a few rounds before him, but are they not in the same situation? Reports have come out and said that Laporta is easily the best rookie on the field at the moment for the Detroit Lions. And especially with wide receiver Jamison Williams still missing time for the Lions, he is an easy draft pick for me. But those have been my favorite late round tight ends that I find myself targeting a lot in fantasy football. And I'm sure when the season comes around, those be even more touted in these drafts. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and come back for all the other ones.